Greetings and good day, YouTube and Twitch Highlight Watchers. Might be a little bit loud, in all honesty. So let's do a little bit of an audio adjustment. I did adjust the audio a little bit, all right? And like set up some of the controls and stuff like that. I might need to make some other changes later, but we won't worry about that. Anyways, greetings and good day, insane baboon. How are you doing today? How were your festivals? that you went to. You got me curious. Well, this is technically more of a DLC expansion than it is a full-fledged game. Because if you look at like Dishonored 1 and 2 to 100% those games, it takes like 20 and 40 hours respectively or something like that. But to 100% this game, it would be 17 hours on average. If I wanted to just focus on this, I could actually get done with this game today if I really wanted to. And I'm not sure. We'll see how things go. Yeah. Ground Zeroes is... Now, this is the fucked up part. Ground Zeroes is basically like that. Phantom Pain is supposed to be the fully released game. Ground Zeroes is the, uh like the DLC expansion that takes place after the events of Peace Walker. Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain is the main Metal Gear Solid 5, where Ground Zeroes is like the prequel type thing. I'm glad for one. Yeah, I, I didn't... I, I was going to get it when it first came out, and I said, you know what? No. I have a weird feeling about this game. I'm not going to get it. And I'm glad I didn't, because I would have been very upset that I spent, what was it, 40 or $60 on a game that's literally like seven missions. And they're not, and they all take place in the same fucking location. I could rant and rave about those games all day. Instead, why don't we get, uh, thought of the scene, what the hell we got for Death of the Outsider, because I have... No idea. It also looks like Dowd is making a return. So that's nice. We're just going to be on medium. Right? We could go custom again. But I think we're going to go with medium across the board. And we're going to do non-lethal like always. Yeah. I was like... They must, they must either have slept through it or something, because I, I know I didn't skip chapter. I literally just got to watching it. You are on the lookout for your old mentor, Dowd, whom you've not seen in 15 years. Rumors speak of a clandestine boxing club that uses black magic and bone charms at the Albraca Baths. Could he be there? My name is Billy Lurk, though there aren't many people who remember. For years, I stayed hidden captain of a ship called the Dreadful Whale. I was a smuggler, fence, and maybe traitor, depending on who you ask. Our names are always overshadowed by the words whispered after them. If you hide from the world long enough, eventually nobody remembers you. Then you're alone, living with your choices. Isn't that a hell of a truth? I'll forget the man who pulled me up from nothing. Dowd, the Knife of Dunwall. A name called out by the desperate or the dying. The assassin who ended one empress and saved another. Of the same blood. Shame burns inside you for a long time. When I betrayed Dowd, he let me live. I left Dunwall and my own name behind. For years, I wondered if I was worth forgiving. For years, I laughed That's a shame. at myself for even wanting a killer's forgiveness. Sometimes mercy cuts deeper than any knife. Now I know that forgiving is something you do for yourself as much as for the people who hurt you. I know Dowd is in Karnaka, and I'm going to find him. So my only thing is... Every night for weeks, the oh, same I... terrifying dream. A street fight, my arm dead and lying in the gutter, my eye gouged out by a Grand Guard sword. But when I wake up, they still hurt for hours. Gives me the creeps. This always brought me a little comfort. You stole this for me, didn't you, Deirdre? Now it's all I have left of you. 
Another relic from the old days. Still holds an edge, at least. So I'm curious about how they're gonna that tell some of these tales. Bats is my last lead. Dowd has to be. Oh, there. that's so annoying. Hold on. All right, so it looks like we're in. Oh, this is the locked door that we only got into for a little bit. Right, right, right. Well, on to the reading right off the rip, right? Renowned natural philosopher and painter Anton Sokolov returned to Tivia this week after years of retirement in Karnaka. Sokolov, whose inventions and technology marvels, technological marvels are famed throughout the Isles. Hold on. Before I continue reading this, I just have to say, as someone who is very excited for the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake, every time I think of, I see the word Sokolov, or hear the name Sokolov, I think of the Sokolov from Metal Gear Solid 3. If I said Grand Theft Auto, I meant Metal Gear Solid. I mix those names up all the time. I don't know why. Anyway. <clears throat> was greeted with the fanfare and Penelope. I think that's how you say that. Do a national hero. A parade in his honor accumulated in a festival on Mastov Square in Dabkava, where Sokolov gave a brief speech announcing the establishment of his studio. When asked about his future plans, the inventor responded, I've already done enough for several lifetimes. The inventor was overwhelmed by the infernal noise of the parade and left the celebration early. He gave no indication whether or not his studio will accept apprentices. Probably not. Good to see the old man made it up north. I was lucky to know him. I wonder what poor soul is dealing with him now. And considering you've already read this because this is posted up there, this is more for the player benefit than anything else. Empress Emily Caldwin moves to heal Fractured Empire. Renovation projects in the Tower District are finally underway as the last funeral rites were performed for High Overseer Yule Kolowan and the Brothers of the Faithful who died in an attempt to retake Dunwall Tower from the now deposed usurper Delilah Copperspoon. The Abbey of the Everyman has spent the last several months consecrating and interring the remains of the Fallen while also removing dangerous and heretical objects from the Imperial Palace. With representatives from the Isles beside her, Empress Emily Caldwin issued a statement yesterday morning urging unity in the wake of this great tragedy. The Empire's strength is in its diversity of thought and action. Working together, there is nothing we can't accomplish. We are pleased to reassert our partnership with the sovereign nations of Morlay, Sirkonos, and Tivia for our mutual peace and prosperity. Following these proceedings, several imperial proclamations have been issued with the aim to restore trading networks and communication across the Isles. Several large-scale public works have been announced, with architectural firms in Sokonos and Morley already competing for the commissions. Greedy so, bastards. Her imperial highness is back on the throne. If she knew what I was doing now, she'd probably try me for treason. Yeah, because you're trying to Is find this what you would have looked like, doubt. my sweet Deirdre. I would have died soon after you if it hadn't been for Dowd. Burn the White Hound. These are missions, right? An eyeless hag stole my poor Milky. He's white as whalebone, but riddled with disease. It breaks my old heart to ask this of you, but if you find my Milky, please put him out of his misery and burn his remains. Save him from those cursed eyeless and save Karnaka from another plague. And then those thugs at the Albarca Al Al make po potions and bone charms upstairs. Their liquor is vile, but it sells for good coin and we're losing punters to them by the day. Bring us the rat liquor recipe before our brewery goes out of business and make sure to destroy their stock while you're at it. Interesting. Okay, so basically I would assume the same exact Burden, abilities. Spying, picking pockets. Dowd taught me more than just killing. It can keep me afloat. For now. Asphalt 9. Uh, is it's an arcadey game. I've already played it like I play it off stream more than on stream Because it's like a kind of a chill just do a couple of races for the day Like do your dailies because it's one of those free-to-play games and then move on uh, 
it's arcadey though, right? Like it uses realistic looking cars, like a, a Camaro, like a 2018 Camaro. But it's it's got a lot of arcadey aspects for it. Forgiven. I wouldn't have blamed Emily for killing me then and there. Bring down an empress and everything gets thrown into chaos. A lot of people got hurt, but it was worse than that, wasn't it? I helped kill her mother. That's two times I was spared, but at least I got to put it right. Is this how Dowd felt? felt feels? My dreams are getting worse, too. Stronger. Sometimes I stare at my right arm like it shouldn't be there, and my head hurts like I'm blinded by blood. I started to write it all down just to keep a handle on it. Two weeks until I'm back in Karnaka, the longest two weeks of my life. If I even make it, the engine is rattling bad. My old self again. It felt good to say the name, even better to hear it, and now it's on every corner of Karnaka. Wanted, Billy Lark. I've been sending out messages to my contacts in the city, following up on sightings and rumors, but nothing yet. I even listened to the rats. I even listened to the rats. Sometimes they know things the others don't, and their voices remind me so much of Deirdre. You gotta love the bit of insanity that in is inflicted upon Billy Lark. I found the old man's wanted poster in a trunk. Now I'm looking for Dowd just like all of Dunwall was years ago. Uh, Insane Baboon went to two separate festivals over the past, what, two weeks? Week and a half? So I'm assuming that's what the reference was. Uh, I hope I have more luck than they did. A long shot. One last lead, an underground boxing club of all places. Dowd could be finding there, maybe another dead end, but I have to be sure. He's probably running the place, in all honesty. I tried to pump out the engine room, but no use. My ship's dead in the water. Megan Foster would have been furious, but I'm not. I've got other things to care about now. Or considering the name of the thing being our last fight, I guess we're going to fight Dowd. And the apprentice is gonna surpass the master type of situation. I've been searching for months. I know you're here, Dowd. Somewhere. Ah, okay. That club is run by a gang that call themselves the Eyeless. They claim to fight using black magic. If that's true, then Dowd might be involved. Yeah, we're probably gonna take two two streams to finish this because of how I like to do all the lore reading and stuff like that. So we're probably not going to finish it tonight, in all honesty. Two raids by the Grand Guard occurred last night, resulting in few arrests and invest as investigations continue into the activities of the game known as the Islets. Damn. Both raids were conducted on derelict warehouses in the Campo Seta dockyards. Several shipments of whalebone were found at both scenes, along with many carved talismans familiar on sailing ships. These trinkets, marked with strange insignias, were collected along with various unidentified powders, noxious plants, and vials of unknown liquid. Though these items add credence to rumors of black magic being practiced by the Eyeless, the Grand Guard has not called for overseer support, which is ironic considering the way that we dealt with uh, Karnaka in, in 2. Roving Vice Overseer Cardoza of the Abbey of the Everyman, when reached for comment, stressed the spiritual dangers of carved bone charms and, if found, bring them directly to your nearest Overseer outpost for inspection and disposal. He gave no further remarks on the Grand Guard's ongoing investigation. It's going to be nice to see what the canonical shit is supposed to be with this game. In all honesty, notes about Albarca Baths. Went to see old Madge again, traded some old whalebone and a bit of hair, not mine, for information. She's making charms for the eyeless now. Good clients, pay regular. Left before Madge tried to pick my pocket. Some witches from the Royal Conservatory joined the eyeless, powerless now. None from the Brigmore days who would remember me, at least. Now, no reason to think they'll look twice if I go in like anyone else. Are these people just messing around or is there something I'm not seeing? Think I lost my pocket knife, Madge? First, that old woman. Can't know if Dowd's at the Albarca, Albarca Baths until I go check it out for myself. Last lead I got. Hell yeah. Let's go.
Yeah, you, the, the festivals that Insane went to are very liberal. Obviously. Dowd's had the mark of the outsider in his hand for as long as I've known him. I've gone through every gang-infested slum asking after this, and no one would tell me a thing. Everyone in Dunwall was afraid of him then, but not me. No, you even went as far as to attempt to betray him. Megan, you must be pretty desperate if you're writing to me about this. Yeah, I saw him. He's set up a meeting to buy some of those funny explosives that fell off the back of a carriage a few months back, a few months ago. I waited for him, but he never showed up. Sorry, I can't be any more help. I haven't seen or heard from him since. Put me in a real bind, Isabel. Hey, also, hey, you were kind not to mention it, but I didn't forget I still owe you that case of fig wine after what happened last time. Give me two more months, I swear I'll get it to you. Well, Karnaka depending on if that view was behind, uh, drugged up goggles or not, which I assume on some days it was, so sometimes the view might have been psychedelic, literally. Chris, if I have any clues about where Doubt is, it's because he let me find them. Dearest Megan, what an intriguing message. Who's this, then? An old lover? Forgive me, but he doesn't really seem your type. But if you must, I heard a rumor a few months ago from some gentleman that a man looking like he had been spied with those bizarre eyeless. I file, uh, filed that piece of gossip away just in case it was important. Lucky you. When are you coming back here? Make it soon. We miss you. We have some of that tobacco you like stored away just in case you visit. Loving you always. Evie Pitterick. A reply from T, Billy, or Megan, or whatever you go by these days, I don't know anymore. It was easy to pretend we didn't know each other when you were Megan. We agreed to respect both our new lives and not dredge up bad memories, so what are you doing? Yeah, I saw him two years ago here in Karnaka. He even asked after you. I said I hadn't seen you since that night in the flooded district. I'm sure you know why I lied. He never stopped killing, you know. He's got the same old grudges. I just hope you're not one of them. Well, again, I disagree because... Our Dow didn't kill anyone. Your Imperial Highness, thank you for the gift. Well, your generosity is... To impress Emily Caldwin, I don't want your coin. Lady Emily, I can't take your coin after what I did. I'm trying to find a way to make peace. Dear Emily, I wish... To do mend vest, steel hut, hatch, bullets, whiskey. So, I love how that abandoned letter turned into a fucking grocery list. That's glorious. Okay, so the canonical, the canonical thing is we're supposed to knock him out at the mansion. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go on over to my archive and watch my playthrough of Dishonored 2 in about a week or so from now, for those of you that are watching live, because it'll get up there in about a week or so. Uh, we don't have any abilities. We have standard ammunition for the Voltaic Gun and Electric Burst, stuns targets. Uh, we've done the that, that. I wonder if this character's gonna have abilities. I would imagine so. This station hasn't been used for years. Hiding the dreadful whale wasn't easy, but it's safe so far. <clears throat> Hold on. I mean, that should be fine, actually. There's a little bit of, uh... I don't know what it's called. Haze, I guess. At least it feels like there's a little bit of haze. Maybe it's just because of the distance. Very poetic. Poetic. 
Oh, so it won't let us end the, the dreadful whale itself. That's kind of a shame. I would like to, you know, explore my own damn ship. Rude. Oh, that's kind of rude, man. They won't let us go in our own ship. Ugh. How dare. It's gonna hurt. Eh, not as bad as I thought it was going to. Nice, nice. I was kind of wondering if it was something that you got from a movie or what, because that's too... It was too... Specific, you know what I mean? For it to not to have been a uh, a quote. At least I thought it would be. I'd be very surprised if it was a quote from you. Rat whispers. Press F to hear the thoughts of the rats. These little creatures whisper to one another, exchanging information about what is going on in the streets and basements of their point of view. Their mutterings are often cryptic, but sometimes they can give useful clues. Oh, I love what cryptic mutterings. Me today, my little gutter friends. <laughs> One of us. Yes. Fuck you! She fed us many times, tossed us grains and crumbs. Loud voices came, metal flashed. More blood and floods on the floor. Our first feast. Wrap her up. I love the rats. Their voice is exactly what I mentally pictured it would be. Oh. They're so creepy. This, this pleases me greatly, obviously from my smile. I love shit like this. More so than listening to the secrets of the humans, because this is just like the rat going through their day. Now I don't want to kill any rats. The fucking laugh, man. Oh, creepy as fuck. They did a good job with that. I I love when they do shit like that because it's it's an interesting, unique thing to do. They haven't done it in any of the games so far, so I love that. But yeah, uh, keep any spoiler type content you might have for this game to yourself. Yeah, they did a great job of that. That fucking laugh. So more than likely, this is going to take two eight-hour streams for us to get through. Because I'm not going to try and do everything. Not like I did on the last couple of games. But I am going to... Kind of focus on the main story. While also, like, if I see any lore, I'm going to read it. Stuff like that. I'm also going to go non-lethal like I have been. All right. The old El Park of Baths shouldn't be far. It's not quite the old life. But it feels good. I wonder if Dowd has seen these. So that's not the wolfhound we're looking for. Videlia's journal. The second of Earth, I tried an old the old incantations over the teeth and strings like before, but it didn't work. Uh, it always used to work. Is the magic really gone? Oh, this makes me sad. No, it doesn't. I heard about a gang from one of my sisters. She said they do things like what we had together. I don't know where else to go. The canonical way to do these games is non-lethal ghost because that's the best way to get low chaos and low chaos is how you get the good endings and the good endings are the canonical endings. 
Otherwise, Billy Lurk would be dead. Uh, 27th of Earth. The Eyeless might be content with scratched up bones and rat liquor, but I'm not. I tasted the dark waters of the void with my sisters. I know what it feels like to turn the things you hate to ash and watch bright flowers bloom from the cinders. These people don't know real magic. Seven of Nets, I think I found a way if I can snatch one of the stray hounds off the street and steal some carved whalebone. I might be able to get back a glimmer of my power. I know what words to speak over it, I just hope the outsider listens. The Ten of Nets, I used to raise dead hounds from the earth to stalk shadows and tear my enemies to pieces. And now, I watched the life run out of this wretched creature. Its heart shuddered and stopped, and I felt nothing. Just pity. It's gone. Well, no. Unless, well, there's multiple ways to destroy a Billy, right? I'll just let you use your imagination for that one. Just wasted a shock dart. So that's awesome. So that must be Dowd. We are playing as, uh, again, spoiler alerts for two, but if you haven't watched two up to this point and you're watching Death of the Outsider, this spoiler alert's on you at this point. Billy Lurk, who is previously known as Megan Foster, who was assisting Emily in two. 15 years ago, she was working under Dowd, the Knife of Dunwall, who assassinated Jessamine Caldwin, Emily's mother. So we are playing as Billy Lurk, who is looking for her mentor, Dowd. And then it's going to give me tutorial information about stealth. Not the last thing I need right now. Oh no! Shit! It takes forever to knock them out this way. Oh no! <laughs> We're meant on like security alert. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. That's a good tone to use it. But yeah, we're playing as Billy Lurk, who is currently without any influence from the Outsider, which, given the nature of, or the name of the DLC, makes me assume that we're not going to have powers on this one. Due to a potential adverse side effect, citizens are urged not to consume the recalled product. Oh, shit. Yeah, that is right. That is, that is the thing we had to deal with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's giving us tutorials in a different way that it used to, and I don't like it. your cod with pus blisters if you're lucky nah you and your superstitions don't believe all that hocus pocus crap a gang's a gang you should worry more about a knife in the back than some curse if you say so but let's still wait for the reinforcements does he turn around all right our first save of the game Probably delayed a little bit. Yeah, we delayed almost a little bit too long.
Nice. That's always good when you don't have to worry about a hard ass of a conductor or whatever the hell you want to call him. Lieutenant, I've received reports of illegal activity in the old Al Narka baths, and I suspect the Eyeless Gang is involved. This could be our chance to finally strike a blow against those degenerate rat eaters. I want you to scout the area with your squad and gather as much information as you can before then. Don't take any risks. The dockyard district will send reinforcements of a raid of a raid momentarily. Captain Lodiano. Yeah, I mean I was kinda going with a uh Okay, so the Voltic gun is is Oh, that's wild. It's using it's using the round of ammunition to shoot the whole thing. Not just the bullet itself. It's a uh, a fucking railgun. We have a forearm mounted railgun. Ground glider. Could be a gimmick, but if they really. Do use magic, then I need to check it out. Excerpt from a journal. We've been here just a month and I'm making coin hand over fist. It's a dream come true. Sure, it costs to keep that suppressor running, but it's paid for itself 10 times over. Everyone wants to try to fight the brute. All the new folks coming in because they heard we can do a bit of magic thinking they're the one who will break the brute's record. Ha. Huh. They pay for it in coin and tea. Better them than me. I could kiss the one who led us here and to that magnificent bastard. One bone charm of powerful effect. Cast your medal in a challenge brawl. Our champions take all comers rewards for winners all artifacts and bone charms must be disclosed no forfeit until first blood last brawler standing upright wins why do i have this feeling that we're going to get very familiar with cutter william reaper and brute wow that's actually fucking kind of crazy if I'm not mistaken of what that piece actually is and it, I believe it is because of you saying it's hard as fuck I can actually eat food uh hold on hold on hold on I'm trying to look. To see if I can find the code, because normally the very first code, they uh, give you it outright. Like it's a very apparent or obvious spot. Like I said, I'm not going to be too worried about doing 100% this time. I'm kind of just going to push forward a bit. Okay, so we don't have... Yeah, we don't have any powers. I think what we got is what we got and what we will have. Broke there back in the silver mines. That won't let us go up there, but eh, let's check the floor and see if there's any goodies there. Play your way, yeah, 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 yeah. Gets the juices flowing through your veins, keeps your head clear for the fight. 
reckon I should get one? No, no, no! Don't waste coin on Duff's whalebone gugas. They don't do squat. Want your vitals stirred? Get some scarlet nightshade ointment. Rub it on your chest before the match. You'll see. Scarlet nightshade? I tried black nightshade elixir once. Supposed to put strength in your swing. Rubbed it on and lost all feeling from the neck down for a fortnight. Numb as a dead card. Couldn't walk, couldn't stand, couldn't piss without Gretchen's help. Nah, nah. I'll stick to Duffy's bone charms. Well, do what your gut says. But trust me, when you're getting carved up like a screaming piglet in the ring, you'll wish you'd tried my ointment. They've got charms on them. Go away. I need to prepare for my fight. Well, thanks for the 30 coins. Oh, just raw whalebone. You'd better step back now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be pretty linear on the first mission. Do I know you? No, of course I don't. That's a blocked door, so we can't get through there. Oh, nice. Lovely blood. We're looking for the white hound that we need to kill and burn. Outsider's eyes. Dowd. They're making him fight. I have to get him out of there. You don't look so tough. Look at you. Trapped like a hound in the pits. Open your Do not touch. I don't know how this thing works, but it keeps the brute under control and in the pit. Have your fun, but watch out. When I've got my money's worth, our leaders will want to eyeball him. We were lucky to find such a vicious cur for their studies. You've seen him fight. If he gets out, he'll kill us all. So don't turn off the machine. This thing must be keeping Doubt's power suppressed. If I turned it off, nothing could stop him. I poked around and found that big reward bone charm stashed upstairs in the workshop. Stealing it is your problem. But take my advice, if you can't handle the brute without some powerful bone charm, Best not mess with Janat Lee and her goons. They're just jealous. If I want to dance, You're then fighting I the black oh, magic root. Just try and stop. Why don't you roll in sardines? Then swim through. Robbie, I dropped the betting coin in the safe and hid your apartment key in the bucket by the door, like you said. You all set. You owe me two bottled rats for helping you this time. Yes, if you forgot the combination again. Tally the books over your desk. Tally the books over your desk. Maybe they'll uncover your memory. Man, that dude's a long way from home if he was a Bottle Street runner in the past. Uh, where the hell do I need to go for the apartment I just left? Right here. Tally your books. Four, five, one, four, five, one. Sharp pull up alongside. Sharp will improve. We just got a lot of fucking money. Well, I already broke and entered that apartment, so this was just finishing the job. Listen, I'm pretty good when it comes to certain types of puzzles. That's one of those types of puzzles that I'm good good at. We can jump in there later. 24th of Harvest heard from some of the women who came from here over from the Royal Conservatory that there's a man tied up in one of the old public baths. I laughed, but they said it wasn't like that, and there's something special about him. 
I'll round up some of the others and take a look. Three of nets, they weren't lying. Some unlucky fool is down there. I don't know what that machine is or who put him there, but we found a real one. Void touch, just like the woman said. The seven of nets, we moved the operation over to the Albraca baths. Easier than trying to move him. He's got some real fight in him, though. You wouldn't know from how old he looks. Need to talk to Jeanette. Twelve of nets. Got it all set up now. We called him the Black Magic Brute. Came up with it myself. I'm proud of that one. The outsider gave him magic, I know that much. But the stupid hound can't talk. Or won't. Just mutters. Won't look anyone in the eye until a fight starts. But these fi those fights? We'll be making corn off him for a long time. Only at the Spectre Club. I wonder if that's a private club for Isla's members. I've never tried this rat drink before. What's it taste like? You've had worse things in your mouth. It's a smell you gotta worry about. Like a rotting corpse. Oh my god! You've had worse things in your mouth. That's a hell of a an insult. Or I don't even know what the fuck you would call that. Ah, I gotcha. Do you think you've stopping by here and I do hope you enjoyed. Until next time, take care and have yourself a good one. Walk three times around the square with breachers reversed. Who shakes your hand will take your bad luck from you. At midnight, face south and eat a tin of hagfish while singing I knew a lady three times. Rest a teacup on your forehead whilst taking the day's first piss. If it don't fall and break, luck will come. Eat a rotten Tivian pear. But keep the core in your pocket for luck all day. If a white cat hisses at you, hop the main de dock's length on one leg without falling. Then spit into the sea to break the jinx. Make a wish. Wear a scarf soaked in rum around your neck for a week. If it draws no comment, drink the rest of the rum. Your wish will be granted. Yeah, I think I'll stick to whiskey. Whiskey's a cheap parlor trick. Any street sound can swill a bottle and get so twaddled he thinks he's just a bell. The music and getting intense like it is kind of crazy. What do we have over here? So it doesn't look like I can jump up and grab there, but it does look like I can jump up here. Let's go. Eighth of songs, a charm carver will never starve, my mother used to say. Always coin to be made by selling wishes and wants to folks who don't come by much of either in the day to day. Well, I'm hungry and this piece of rotted bone hasn't helped me get out of the way of the overseers. Don't know who I pissed off, but someone must have slipped them my name. Those witch hunters catch me with my mother's carved bit of whalebone. It'll be a slow death. Outsiders ours. I'm in it now. Hey, greetings and good day, Toothpaste. How are you doing today? Twelfth of songs. Managed to palm off two useless bits of bone to a sailor, stinking like whiskey. Couldn't tell his right from his left or a real charm from a fake one. Point should get me through the week at least. Overseer's still two steps behind me, going mad looking over my shoulder all the time. Twenty-two of songs. Finally found a safe spot, full belly too. Now I got a different hunger, my sweet singing bone charm round my neck again, wet whale bone in my hands, this one will carve up nice, not as strong as some, but still good, went too long without, want it just as much as the bones now. Yeah, it has been quite a while, but that's all good, ah, uh, just chilling, having a, having a fun time going through the Dishonored series. Love listening to the rats. Do another shit. They did such a good job with the rat voices, they really did. Did I just lose health for that? Biding my time. I'll make it into the inner circle. Coming tonight. Nah, not this time. Nobody knows. 
Nice, how's Remnant 2 been treating you? I'll get the scars tomorrow. Wanna buy one? Good thing. <laughs> That's that's good to hear. Only a few rats left. Then what am I gonna do? She'll feed me to the hounds if I fall behind. Compared to uh, Remnant One, do you feel that it's better or like worse than the first game? Gotcha, gotcha. You gotta deal with some jackals. Okay, so that's the other way to get out this way. Got it, got it, got it. Ooh. Plagued spirit bull rat liquor. One grown bull rat alive, nine red potatoes, and three drops of wormwood oil. Drain rat's blood into large cooking pot, boil with potatoes on red hot stove, add wormwood when a mash forms, drain the brew into copper vats with the rat corpse, welter one full moon cycle, drain into a bottle, wear a mask or you'll puke, steal the rat inside with the liquor. If Jeanette sees you steal a squiff, you'll be hounds meat. Ah, uh, no, it's all good. When the jack was spawning, you gotta focus your attention on that because... Oh, that's fucked up. How the hell they even got the rats in the bottle in the first place is beyond me, though. They do have a tendency to spawn one after another. I should have looked through the peephole first. I once knew a kid who said his bone charm would make bullets bounce off his skin. He shot himself in the stomach and died a day later. Defeat the brute reward. Don't know what we did right, but we crafted a mighty powerful bone charm this time. Jeanette says it's the reward for beating the brute, so spread the word. Did I just take that? Did I just take that bone charm? Mind you, the the I don't like that the charms are RNG. In all honesty, I don't like that at all. It's an interesting idea. Good day, sniper. How are you doing today? So if I had to take a guess, you dealt with the, uh... The sword guy first? 6-5. What even is that in reference to, I wonder? Oh, are you going to bed, sniper? Or something else? I didn't realize you were saying good night. I thought you were saying good day. Oh, no, no, don't get spotted. Don't get spotted. Yeah, the counts do like to do that. Jeanette, remember those old wall of light parts we found near the dockyards? Well, I found a way to make use of them. Turns out there's a part in them that powers the whole thing. 
So I took it out of all the rusty coils and now we got these little things to stun folks if they get out of hand. I call them electric burst. You're welcome. I've already seen folks sling them at rats to keep them out of the storerooms, but it makes them tense up and ruins the meat. Can't even make liquor from them when they're that like that. Better to use them on larger vermin, you get me? One last thing, do not touch the tips, and by the outsider, do not lick it. I wish I didn't have to make that clear, but Lace did on a bet, and it took hours to wake her up. And now she's got no eyebrows. Not from the electricity, just because someone shaved him off when she was out cold. But we told her it was the electricity. Leon. That's fucking hilarious. That makes me not want to, like, maybe these guys might be assholes, but it makes me not want to hurt these assholes. Letter to Alma. Your last letter tore my heart out with you begging me to quit the eyeless gang and come home. Whatever gruesome tales you heard, the eyeless aren't bloodthirsty brutes like hatters or howlers. They know things, secret things. They're teaching me how to make medicines and brew potions and even carve my own bone charms for the occult boxing fights. If I keep winning matches, I'll catch Jeanette Lee's eye. She's the boss here at the Al Barca. I think I've said it a different time, a different way every single time. Nice. If I work for her, the coin will come rolling in, more than I ever made toiling on the docks. Sad news about Graham's fever. I can't spare any coin, but here's some dried raven beak for a poultice juice. A poultice juice? Poultice? Boil it down with the arrowroot in a copper pot and spread it thick on Grandma's chest. She'll be right as crystal rain in no time. Your brother, Rory. Rory. Stefan, what did I tell you? Glad we stole those blueprints last month. Sure, those parts were hard to find, but those hook mines are already making themselves useful. Snatch up an overseer trying to sneak in here. Wish I could have seen what his face looked like under that mask when the hooks got in him and dragged him up. Would have paid a lot of coin to see that. But someone in this district is telling tales about us to the Abbey of the Everyman. Those witch hunters won't show mercy if they find out what we're doing here. Best find out which of our neighbors has a loose tongue. See if they can still snitch without it. And keep the tongue, we can use that. Okay, less liking them now. In the meantime, throw a rock or a rat up at this fool. See if you can make him twitch. I'll get more hook mines made as soon as I can. And I'll take them for my usage. Double jump? Is that from a bone charm? Yeah, okay. So that's how we get our powers with bone charms. Got it. We're looking for the- that's who we're looking for. So we probably could kill all the- hold on. We gotta cheat and Google this so I make sure. Uh, it probably doesn't matter, but... I need to make sure that killing the hounds isn't gonna... Okay. Does not count as a kill. Alright, good, 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 good. So any big changes when it comes to, uh, is this loud? Well, that was fucking loud. Anyways, uh, any big changes when it comes to let it die or no? Is it still the same old, same old? So they saw the dead dogs. No 
Nobody spotted us so far. We need to carry these two out of the way just in case because I don't want my rat friends to uh, eat the bodies. Yeah. Deathverse and uh, I don't know if you were here during my stint while I was playing through the cycle frontier but they uh that game's getting sunsetted as well whatever you can just stay there before i accidentally end up killing you uses for hag pearls Claris. here's what you asked for weren't too hard to find but you know they're not real pearls right six years at sea should have taught you that hagfish spit them up when they ate something bad a rat falls in their mouth, and two weeks later, a bunch of these come out, waxy and full of little bones. Or they swallowed up the silver teeth out of a dead man's head, and it made them too heavy to swim right. Either way, it means they shove these things out one end or another, probably why they smell awful. When they dry out, they turn stiff, and I've seen street kids pitch them at folks with slings. But dock workers say they're unlucky, cut open a hagfish belly, and a bunch of these pour out. You better take care. Your grand used to collect them, had a string of them around her wrist, and when she wanted someone's luck to turn, she'd whisper their name in it and slip it in their pocket. Worked half the time, at least. Might help you out someday, who knows? Just don't eat one. Visit again soon. Aunt Flora. I mean, there are a number of free-to-play games you could always check out, and the best thing about a free-to-play game is at the end of the day, it's free to check out, you know? Oh shit, we have distract- we have hag pearls. We can throw hag pearls. That's hilarious, I love it. Wait, why can't we open this? Oh, here we go. You have to tell me how it is. I watched a little bit of that event, and I'm, I, it's those, uh, those events where they add all those special abilities and stuff are a big turnoff for me when it comes to battle royale type games. Anyone who wants this time on the water, uh, knows what these are. Lucky Charm, Scrimshaw, Witchcraft. If you want, whatever you call them, these fancy bits of bone can be worth a fortune if they make good on their promises. Sometimes you'll find one on the dead howler or grizzler, some lifeless bootlicker's last hope in a fight. You'll never find one on a dead eyeless, you know why? Because the eyeless make good on their promises. We know things the Abbey don't want you to know, and not just a balm to clear that rash you got in an alley, but how to scratch up a bit of whale bones so you don't feel pain in a fist fight. How to make even the most sharp-eyed guard miss you in the street. Even how to get the outsiders there and ask him a thing or two. You won't believe what we can do until you see it yourself. Until you see all those dead howlers at your feet and hold a bit of lucky bone in to thank for, the, for it. I almost said for that. It's hard not to word it in the way you think it should be worded. Anyway, all it takes is some ink under the skin and a couple of sleepless nights and this city could be yours. Hell of a recruitment pitch, in all honesty. Hell of a recruitment pitch. Apex? Hell yeah! That's a bit of a better one then when it comes to, uh... Well, in my... From my perspective slash in my opinion. Then when it comes to Fortnite. And mind you, they're both good BRs, don't get me wrong. But... Really? Whoops. Whoops. All right.
No bone charm there. I'm trying to go down a list of like good free to play games that would uh supplement the same tone of feelings or whatever you want to call it as uh let it die but i can't really think of a lot of them any like right yet who uh well if you have 200k and octane i would assume is your favorite if octane isn't your favorite who is your favorite character to, uh, legend to utilize and regardless of that who's your top three I don't know what my stats are, honestly. See, here's the problem. I'm worried that if I uh, do that, that dude's gonna die, and I don't want dude to die. But on the same time... Hold on. Let's experiment really quickly. Revenant. Nice, nice, nice. If you want to fight him, you gotta wait your turn. You black eyed bastard. Oh, he's with the outsider. That lavender tincture is gonna spell. Oh, shit! Run! Oh, shit! Run! Where is he? seek me out one day I didn't think it would be like this you were hard to find how did you end up here now let's talk somewhere else the eyeless have more secrets than you know I've got a ship or what's left of it the dreadful whale it's docked below the Akintila repair station doubt I say whatever you want to say Billy that you're here now is enough I need your help like old times those days are gone. This is something bigger. One last job. I can do it. Who's the mark? The one responsible for it all. The cults. The black magic. This mark on my hand. We're gonna kill the black-eyed bastard himself. What? The... You want to kill the outsider? You want to kill... God. You know how many games I've killed a god in? Or gods? So many. I finally find him and the old man's got me jumping right back into this occult shit. <laughs> Dowd can explain himself back on the dreadful whale. Well, he didn't kill him because we didn't kill anybody, I bet. If I if I was a betting man. Ah no 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 no, we want to read that. Uh, Thomas, you don't know what you're getting into with this black magic. It draws you in with harmless things like sailors' charms, but then see what horrors the eyeless make you do when you're too scared to leave. That's what the outsider wants. Oh, I have a green screen. You didn't know I had a brother, did you? When we were little, there was an old woman who lived by the dockyards. Oh! Granny Rags! Ma said to run if she ever looked at us, but we didn't listen. She was ugly as a hagfish, but she'd tell us so odd stories and said her black-eyed friend would visit if we were quiet. Then my brother went missing. We searched all over for him, but we found no trace. That night I went to the old woman, that witch, and she had something awfully awful smelling in a pot she was stirring with all her strength. I asked if she'd seen him, and she laughed, said yes, and she showed me. 
Cut my brother up into pieces, nothing but bones and red flesh and the little scarf he always wore. She'd have ground me up too if I hadn't run to the overseers. Get out of this cult while you can, before you're gutting someone's son or daughter to get the outsider's attention. Adela. Nice. Great. Wonderful. See, here's the thing about it, though. All those people that are doing that are fucking idiots. Because the outsider goes to whoever the outsider wants to go to, not 